Hey, welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to go over some of the games revealed at the 2022 Game Awards that stood out to me that will be coming to PlayStation. Starting things off, Death Stranding 2 is official. Finally, after the slow burn of teases over the last year or so, the baby pod is out of the pod and Norman Reedus is old for some reason now. As per usual, this latest trailer from Kojima is hard to make any sense of, and you're probably better off not trying to do that anyways. And we got a good look at some new vehicles, some locales, and characters in this first trailer, and I can't wait to see more. The next reveal was that Crash is back once again with a new multiplayer game called Crash Team Rumble. At first glance the idea sounds pretty dumb but it actually looks kind of interesting to me. It's a sort of mix of traditional Crash platforming and collectathoning and Fall Guys type multiplayer antics. And any sort of multiplayer competitive game that's not solely focused on shooting mechanics seems like a pretty cool idea to me, especially for more appeal to families and less hardcore gamers. I'd be very interested to see more moment to moment gameplay of this title. Next up, the very long-awaited new game from Rocksteady, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, got a new trailer revealing that the late Kevin Conroy will be playing Batman for the last time in their new game, after having played the titular character in the Arkham trilogy that put Rocksteady on the map. We also got a new release date for the game on May 26, 2023, so hopefully we finally see the game come out this time. And while this last mention is not actually coming to PlayStation per se, but Returnal and The Last of Us Part 1 are finally confirmed to be coming to PC next year. I'm not totally sure about The Last of Us Part 1, but Returnal has been rumored to be coming to PC for a while, and it sounds like it was first discovered on Steam database back in May, but it's nice to finally get an official word at least. There were a ton more announcements, but these were the ones that stood out to me personally. And thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what was your favorite reveal from the event.